How's it going everybody? Tim Bart here, Ford Video Guy, uh, with another video on my Bronco. Kind of short video, because this is an install that I had someone else do. So I uh, run out of time, get to Supercell. Um, I don't think I've told a lot of you, if you follow me on social, uh, Ford Video Guy on Instagram um, or threads, uh, you'll know I got a camper. So we bought a camper and I got to go pick it up in Iowa because it's a special we love the floor plan of this camper and i'll be doing a video on this uh just channel of that uh, but in doing that my bronco didn't come with a hitch because they said ditch the hitch to get them scheduled so that's what i did so i have no hitch actually i ordered it without it because i'm like i'm never going to tow anything with this so i ordered it without the hitch to begin with and uh so now we're getting the camper and i'm like i need a hitch and i need wiring um so um rough country has a cheap hitch uh now there is some some up up the, some positives and negatives to the hitch it's a hundred dollars for their hitch so here we're a rough country dealer at the dealership so there's my hundred dollar solution now fords is four hundred dollars or 390 380 anyway it's up it's close to four hundred dollars for theirs um and it looks a little bit better with their wiring so Wiring's through Ford, hitches through Rough Country. Now the, the ca caveat here is you can get it to work, but it doesn't work the way Ford was intended to hook that up. So if you do it with a Ford, there you'll notice under here, if I can get under there. Okay, I gotta get I gotta lay down here. There's actually two holes to this. You may not be able to see it up there. Uh, but there are two holes. Yeah, you can't see it. Um, and you when you have the, the Ford one, you connect both holes into their hitch to the left side in those two bolts right there but with rough country it will not fit um, this here actually sits over it overlaps this so it will not fit in there so you just bolt it onto one bolt so it's sitting up there but it's really solid i'm happy with it um, and uh, they ran the wiring for me as well uh, here at the dealership so hitch wiring they wired it in um so that's all done and they wired it for me uh, but also while i was at it i did a video for law macarthur check out my dirty car uh years uh, or like about i don't know six months ago somebody added a trailer brake controller to their vehicle and i was told that my trailer will have a trailer brake uh, which isn't common on a single axle but it will and so this is a trailer brake controller i need to read the instructions yet but i can set it up to pretty much when the vehicle breaks then the trailer will break it'll break the it'll it'll engage that trailer break and so and then you can see there's numbers there too so i can also manually override that to i think break the trailer or the car without one or the other right so uh got the instructions over there i'm going to look into that uh, but while i was at it one last thing got to talk to the aftermarket manager who is an off-roader by the way he has ford f-150 raptors and uh and uh, almost got a bronco raptor um but anyway, so remember when I did the wiring for this light right here, right? We had that up and actually I can't, uh, can't show you this right now, but I'll get you, we'll do a video when they're done. Uh, it's over here in service because that's needing, my heated seat's not working. Anyway, that light there has two different, it has a daytime running light that's dimmer. I showed you this guys in another video and then a brighter one, right? And it had that switch, that relay switch on it and it was up in here. Well, they wired that, so they called Rough Country, and this is pretty much how they did this. So the, the, the grounds are grounded together right there, and I have the one already connected to the battery. You guys remember that I did that already. And then the red, I had the red and the white going into my yellow, which was number one for my bright light. So that red is your bright one. It is going, I believe, anyway, he wired them into one being the brightest, and my auxiliary switches and three being the other one so now i'll have all these lights on my auxiliary switches so this number one is going to be the brightest setting for this light number two is going to be this and the way i remember it is there's two lights <laughs> and then number three will be the dim uh, if i want the drl on then i can have the the drl on with my headlights i can just flip the switch to number three and then i got them on so i'm gonna that'll be pretty much act as my fog light for me uh, but anyway so there we go so 
that is all set. I'm going to grab the instructions for this while I'm back here, but pretty excited about that. So there you go. So if you're wondering what brake controller we got, that is a that is a Loom Ford Bronco electric brake controller, right? And we'll get the instructions. We'll get to learning that all about it. So there we go. It is, folks. It is cold out here. It is almost April, and it's like I don't know, 30 degrees and frigid out here. It's like a I don't know. Anyway, so we're heading back inside gonna take a look at these instructions how to use this um, but pretty excited push the easy button on this one because I don't have time before I go pick up the trailer so next weekend is Easter I'll be enjoying family for that Sunday the Sunday after I need to be there bringing the trailer back so I don't have I didn't really have time to do it myself so I pressed the easy button and I had Ford do it so I know these sometimes I cover the install videos but that might have been a little bit more above my pay grade uh, we got a really good guy that does a lot of our aftermarket stuff that installed it for me and he actually does a lot with lighting and such with his side by side and four wheelers so that's how we had it done so anyway hope you guys are enjoying these videos smash the like button subscribe notification bell all that good stuff and uh yeah it's a quick little video on this one but if you think you know if you're wanting to go a cheaper route you can go with the rough country hitch and Ford's wiring and it can work uh, just like we had it work um, and then there is trailer brake controller available for the Ford Bronco if you didn't know that by Lumen probably not saying that right Lumen Lumen L-U-M-E-N anyway check that out give you the specs I'll see if I can find it online so you know where to buy those I always like to do that in the description so I and in the description you'll have the link to the wiring uh, for that I put on the Bronco as well as the rough country hitch so if you want to go that route you can do that save yourself 300 bucks uh, if you want to save some money um, and your dealer may tell you it doesn't work with it um, but again there's a workaround if you say you know what just wire it in and I'll do it myself if you want um, but he just connected it to the one so again we called rough country for both because rough country does say that you can use that wiring harness on their um, their trailer or their hitch so and then also the same way they said that you could wire we called them to help with the wiring for that light since this is the updated version of that they showed they worked us around that um, the reason that we didn't think that wiring would work with the the um, that winch light is because on some of the older ones if it didn't have two grounds coming out then it would it would throw codes and they says not with this newer one it's not throwing it won't throw codes or anything so the ground's coming in and there's only one ground right and there's and there's a red and a white which are the two positives for the two different brightness uh so he's thinking i need another ground coming into that and there wasn't so but calling rough country they said with this one uh there's not it's not gonna throw any codes or anything so good to go he's got it hot, hot, wired in and uh it's working and uh and uh, hopefully you got to see the image i'm gonna go get, <laughs> when i get the vehicle back i'll get recorded so pretty cool in editing you'll be able to see that uh those two switches uh and everything and how that looks on the bronco so pretty excited about it and i hope you guys enjoyed it until next video stay positive be kind to one another be kind to yourself and we'll see you later